In today's world of market volatility and uncertainty, your retirement plans need to be front and center. With ever-changing tax laws, healthcare worries, and an unpredictable stock market, don't overlook the vulnerability in your retirement planning. Protecting your family and estate will be difficult with shifting policies in Washington. It's more important than ever to keep an eye on retirement. Hi, and welcome into Eye on Retirement, the weekly show that keeps you in the know about all things retirement. I'm your host and financial advisor with Market Advisory Group, Rick Everett, along with the full complement of panelists to include founding partner and financial advisor, Larry Clefcorn, our lead CPA with Market Tax Services, Joshua Sikora, with Market Medicare Advisors, Healthcare Advisor, Mark Benefield, and with Eidelman Law Firm, our lead attorney, in estate planning, Gerald Eidelman. Welcome in everyone. And Larry, you were telling me before the show about John and Jane, a couple that you started working with in the last half of 2023. Could you give us a rundown of their particular situation? Yeah, they, um, uh, like you said, it, it was the last half. So, you know, I met them in the summer. They, it was when they came in for the first appointment. And by the way, they are IOM retirement viewers uh, um, channel 12 at 630 and, um, on Saturdays. And, um, you know, he, he admitted that he was rather skeptical of us. And, um, um, he said, but he, he watched a few episodes and he started to feel differently about it and, and finally decided, you know, I think I ought to make an appointment with those guys. So, um, that's what he did, and so we went through. He had set a retirement date in his mind, which he ended up going through with. It would be essentially the end of the year. It was going to be, you know, the first week of January mm -hmm. as such. But, um, and, and so we had him all set up. We had all of his finances in place, and his investments uh, were ready to go. And um, uh, so... What we had talked about doing was we did some tax harvesting in uh, 2023, and then we were gonna do some more when the calendar turned for 2024, uh, in particular because then his income would be down a lot, okay? He was a high wage earner. And um, uh, so when we got together here just uh, early January, uh, he informed us that his wife in December had been diagnosed with cancer. Mm. Now, you know, I, my heart, I think all of us, uh, our hearts go out to these uh, people that are diagnosed with anything like this. But, you know, here was a case where they had been setting their eyes on this target of retiring at this particular time. They had trips planned. They, they, they had plans. That mm -hmm. they were going to, you know, move forward with, and um, uh, you know, so it was it, it was a real gut punch. That's really what it was. And were John and Jane were they of Medicare age? They were not, and that's what took us to the next part of this story. Is um, John needed to make sure that they had some health care coverage, and uh, he'd done some research himself. But when I told him that our Medicare advisors also are capable of doing health care for him, he, he said, I want to see them. I want to talk to them. So he had already had one meeting when we were meeting here just the other day, but he wanted to uh, review some things. So I brought in the health care advisor that he's speaking to, and that's when um, I, I'll let them explain. Mark Benefiel with Market Medicare Advisors. Were you able to help John and Jane, or, or are you only able to help with Medicare type issues? Well, let's not be confused. Because even though um, you know the name of our, you know, we're Market Medicare Advisors, we actually help people with all different types of health care and insurance needs. Um, and it's very, very common for us to get involved in a uh, situation like this. Um, when one spouse maybe is Medicare age, the other one is not, maybe there's a, an employer plan involved, then there's COBRA situations. And in, in this particular situation, 
one of the things we had to look at, and one of the concerns was, was that because of their income, they were gonna be above the levels where they could get any credits from like the open marketplace, ACA marketplace. And so then we had to look at some other alternatives for that. Um, while they, we could get them an ACA plan, it was going to be very, very expensive. Um, she actually had been um, offered COBRA through her employer and leaving the employer. And, and as we did an analysis of both their income, where they're at, any potential credits they might have versus what her individual needs were, everything from prescriptions to doctors and everything else, what the determination was that um, in her specific instance, it was actually better for her economically to stay on COBRA. Um, one, COBRA was going to be less than what um, the ACA marketplace plan would be. Also, we could have a continuation of coverage. And, and, and we've had other situations like this where she's in the middle of a cancer diagnosis, starting that treatment, is that really a time to change doctors? If, if you can avoid it, we can. So in the analysis, what we basically advice was give her was keep your COBRA as long as you can. It's most advantageous financially, but it's also most advantageous to her health mm -hmm. because you get to stay with the doctors, get to stay with the treatment plan, et cetera. And then as we go forward into the next calendar year, we will then you know, look at that as that COBRA policy starts to, uh, to wind down, which then brought about some additional questions, which was, well, what about my income? You know, our income, we're making decisions on our income. How's that gonna affect our Medicare eligibility in the next year when we get to that? Um, how's that gonna affect IRMA payments? Um, all those types of things. And so then you start getting into some tax planning situations, like should I, take, should I take lump sums now? Should I take them later? How should my payouts be? Well then, obviously that uh, means we need to, to speak with the, uh, the tax side as well. So we're definitely able to give them sound, solid advice which resulted in market Medicare not necessarily making any type of sale whatsoever, but that's not what's important. What's important is, is that the client gets the, the financial and the, the health advice that they need, and we're able to accomplish that. Ab so I absolutely. Might, I might interject here is that, well, I was having this meeting. We just asked for uh, Mark to come in. So he was sitting at the table, and his financial advisor, me, was sitting at the table together having this conversation. Now, Larry, did you bring anyone else into the conference room to help with John and Jane? Like Mark uh, just pointed out, we needed some tax help. So <laughs> joining the conference table, again, having everyone there in place, Joshua came in to help. Joshua, share with us your role in helping John and Jane. Yeah, so in this situation, we weren't specifically talking about taxes. We weren't talking about what the tax consequences were going to be of their income. We weren't talking about, directly, we weren't talking about tax harvesting. We were talking about their, their health care. And while that's not typically something that's inside the domain of, of a tax advisor, in this situation, it does come into play because the, the different things we're talking about, the Affordable Care Act insurance, Medicare, they're all measured with your tax return, your income on the, reported on the return, the credits are trued up on the tax return, and so we needed to, to weigh these things using the tax return as the, the measuring tool in this case. And so we talked about, well, if they went Affordable Care Act, what would those income limits be to allow for the premium tax credits? We talked about on the Medicare side, when would Irma come in, what the income levels would look like, how did that match up to the plan Larry was putting together. And in this case, we, um, we're actually settling out on the unusual option C for COBRA. You know, COBRA tends to get a bad rap sometimes because it can be expensive, but in this situation, it was a very attractive option. And the nice thing on the, the COBRA insurance was that there wasn't any uh, income limits coming into play. We just were kind of talking around um, one, the, the health care benefits Mark was, was bringing to the, to the table on that side, and then two, how that transition off of it looked like once it became more and more obvious that was the, the more attractive option. So, Larry, now there's what, four people at the table? There's right. you mm -hmm. as a financial mm -hmm. advisor. We've got Joshua as a CPA. We've got Mark as a health care advisor, and then the two clients. Yes. So five people mm -hmm. around the table. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, yeah, that had to be one of the reasons they probably came here. It is. And, you know, that way, everybody's hearing the same conversation. And when that con when that meeting is over, everyone leaves with the same understanding. And even after they leave, then in between meetings, when we get together again, 
we'll have conversations, we'll collaborate on their specific case, just like many of our other clients. It's, it's about weathering the storm. And just like the weather, sometimes you might have a heads up what's coming, but sometimes a storm can drop out of nowhere and changes your life completely. Wouldn't you rather have a whole team on your side ready to shelter you when that storm hits? At Market Advisory Group, that's exactly what we do. And if you'd like to set up a complimentary, no obligation consultation, operators are standing by right now to take your call at 316-252-8707. Again, that number to set up your appointment, 316-252-8707. And be sure and check out our website at ionretirement.com. In the next episode, or the next segment rather, we'll talk about a, wind, a widow and her concerns as she approaches her retirement. That and more right after this. Out on the water, there is a moment. Perfect synchronization. The team working together in harmony to reach their goal. Now, imagine finding a team of financial professionals to help run your course down the river of retirement. Market Advisory Group is that team. Financial advisors, tax professionals, estate planning attorneys, and Medicare advisors. All in the same boat. If you don't have a team like this in one place, it can become a hassle to relay information between them. When you come to Market Advisory Group, we bring everyone together for you. To get you answers in real time. To help make sure you don't miss something that puts your unique plan off course. You shouldn't be the one doing all the work to keep your retirement on pace. You should have a team in the boat with you. Your voice telling them where you're at, where you'd like to end up, and how you want to get there. And at that point, everyone falls into sync, all pulling in the same direction, toward the same purpose. Your retirement's financial security. We are Market Advisory Group. Proud sponsor of Shocker Rowing. Hi, and welcome back into Ion Retirement. Larry, in the prior segment, we were talking about John and Jane and uh, her health care issues and how you help them and yeah. actually help put them at ease as they approach retirement. But in this segment, you have a different client and her name is Liz. Right. What is her retirement situation? Well, Liz is still active in the workforce because she's uh, in her 50s, mid 50s, um, a professional here, but she's also a widow. Um, and so she's been you know, on her own for quite some time. And she's done a good job of accumulating some retirement assets. Now, um, you know, one of the, the concerning things for her is she said, she said this, this is kind of her opening thing is she's getting ready for retirement and she's approaching the landing. Okay. <laughs> I liked that. You know, she said, I'm approaching the land. On Runway the lights are yeah, on. <laughs> yeah. She said, I'm on the final approach. And so um, she was really concerned and she, she didn't want to put this off to the last minute and she wanted to do thoughtful things. Well, that works out perfect with the way I work and the way market advisory in general works is we want to provide, we have all these advisors there so that people can make informed decisions. Mm -hmm. That's important. So, um, as we talk to her, uh, we find that it's, you know, she has her, a number one priority to her, among other things now that are important. But she did say the overriding thing is 
she did not want to be a burden to her children. And, um, you know, we find that that, that fits in a number, number of categories. And we hear that a lot around our conference room sure. tables. Sure. Gerald Eidelman with Eidelman Law Firm. Take us through what you could do to help Liz not become a burden to her children. Uh, absolutely. Part of the, 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 what people are trying to relieve is there's two aspects of retirement and dying, essentially. One part has to do with what happens to you while you're alive and what kind of burden you put on your family in taking care of you. And the other one is what happens to your assets after you leave and not putting a burden on your family at that point. And to do that, we have several tools available. So when we were looking at what she wanted to avoid during life, one of the things she wanted to avoid was having to be, uh, having to have a guardian or, or, guard or conservator appointed to her if she became incapacitated. So that's when we look at powers of attorney and we determine in the conversation who were the best people of her children or family at the time that were most likely to be able to help her in a situation where she lacked capacity, she needed somebody to manage her money, or she had health problems and she lacked capacity and needed somebody to manage those hair, uh, uh, health problems. So you don't completely remove the burden sort of way. It, you actually, what you're doing is you're putting the weight on people that you trust and you set it up in such a way that it doesn't become a burden in trying to help you. Uh, you know, and then of course you have to look at, well, what happens after life? Uh, you can leave a mess behind. Uh, if you don't do anything, uh, you wind up in probate court, spending months, years, tens of thousands of dollars, headaches, uh, in dealing with all of this. And she has significant assets that that could have been a problem. Now with Larry, she worked on designating beneficiaries for her retirement accounts. And that's one of the ways we uh, make sure to avoid that there's a, something, you know, explodes at the end of their life. And so we try to uh, address that. Uh, and so we provided, uh, we set up a trust for her because it was the most promising vehicle to make sure that their children, her children didn't have to go to court. Her children didn't have to spend thousands of dollars trying to get her assets. Uh, so, and we provided a will. And in doing so, we set everything up so that her children could help her. They would still be involved, but it wouldn't be a burden in the way they went about taking care of her. Larry, back to you. Um, what else could you do to help focus is, uh, keep the focus on Liz's number one priority of not burdening her children? Well, one, one of the things for sure was to do a good job and um, do a good job of managing her assets. Okay, that, that's important because that's going to be the underlying thing in which is going to provide these uh, powers of attorneys to help take care of her. But we're working on a number of things to address specifically so that she wouldn't have to move in with a, a, a child or someone wouldn't have to move in with her. I mean, she, mm -hmm. she really wanted, when she thinks of a burden on her children, that's one of the things she's really worried about. So what we find so often is that they need a multifaceted approach to take care of that. And it needs to be part of their uh, overall retirement plan. I often talk about that we make custom made plans. Well, this is an example of that. And one of the things that um, I, you know, reinforced to her that she had reason to think uh, well of this is that, um, you know, there are three things that people constantly repeat to us and they, and they say, and it, it comes out through surveys as well. One is they never, they want to make sure they never run out of money. Number two, they want to live independently and on their own terms. And then thirdly, they never want to be a burden to anybody. 
And so with those concerns and her forethought in doing this now rather than later, mm -hmm. uh, there were really some good options. And th th this goes back to the the whole not becoming part of the sandwich generation, mm -hmm. you know, and the sandwich generation is a, a person who is sandwiched in the middle, taking care of both parents and children right. in some cases. When it comes to retirement planning, do you feel sandwiched when it comes to your future? Do you want to retire but don't know how you're going to be able to make ends meet if inflation keeps going or if the markets crash? At Market Advisory Group, we're here to help in all aspects of retirement, from the investments to taxes, from health care to estate planning. We have the professionals that do it all, and we do it all under one roof for your convenience. If you'd like to set up that complimentary, no obligation consultation, operators are standing by to take your call at 316-252-8707. And be sure and check out our website at ionretirement.com. When we come back to wrap up the final segment of Ion Retirement, we'll take a look at some listener questions, some viewer questions from people just like you, and we'll do that right after this. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go, and who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review today. I need a place to go to see about my investments. Ask my friends if they know about holistic retirement. Everything in one place, estates, taxes, and Medicare, people meeting face to face, advisors to help me get there. At Market Advisory Group, retirement under one roof. At Market Advisory Group, we're invested in you. Hi, and welcome back into this final segment of Ion Retirement. In this segment, we're going to be addressing questions from our viewers. If you'd like to send us a question, you can do so. Larry, I'm going to jump right in. Our first question comes from Brian. Brian asks, how does moving to another state affect the taxability of CAPERS retirement plans? And when I am presented with a question just like that, I know that that's the time for our tax people to step forward. So we'd ask a tax advisor. Yeah, so for people who may not be aware, CAPERS is a public pension through the state of Kansas for state employees. In Kansas, if you're collecting CAPERS, you don't pay tax on those benefits. When you move to other states, you gotta find out what the rules are for those other states. Some states like Missouri, for example, doesn't tax any public pension, whether it's from Missouri, Kansas, wherever, including federal government pensions. Whereas if you look at it from the other way, if you're someone from out of state coming into Kansas, Kansas only exempts Kansas pensions from taxation. So you have to be sure to understand the rules of wherever you're going. Rapid firing these questions, Larry. The next question comes from Crystal G. Crystal asks our panel, what's the best way to prepare for and save for retirement when a person is self-employed? Well, you know, the options just got better with uh, the SECURE Act 2.0. Um, but for a long time, 
something that would be considered would be a SEP IRA, which is specially made for things like that and gives them higher, uh, and, and I'm actually going to defer to Josh here uh, to talk more specific about it because that's what I would do if I were in front of a client. So maybe I'll just throw it to you right now. Take yeah, it away, Josh. Sure. Long story short, there's some different uh, retirement options, retirement plans for self-employed people. Uh, SEP IRAs, simple IRAs are both options along with traditional and Roth. Plus, those self-employed plans now have Roth options to go along with them. Um, those are dependent on your income, so it's important to work with both a tax professional and a financial advisor as you're setting those up and as you're making contributions to make sure they all happen to the right limits. As you can see, when putting together an effective retirement plan, it takes a whole team. And we have that whole team here for you. If you'd like to set up a complimentary, no obligation consultation with our team, you're welcome to do so. You can give us a call right now at 316-252-8707. Again, the number to call 316-252-8707. And be sure and check out our website at ionretirement.com. On that website, you can find informative classes going on in the community near you. You can also leave us a question that we may entertain on a future show, and you can also catch past episodes. Again, ionretirement.com. That's all the time we have for this week. I'm Rick Everett, along with the entire crew, reminding you that we're here to keep an eye on retirement. Unless otherwise indicated, all client and prospect names mentioned on this show have been changed to protect the identities of the individuals discussed. Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. The content provided is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of Foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns are not indicative of future results. Each individual investor situation is different, and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transacts business in the states where it is registered or excluded or exempt from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by security regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. No legal or tax advice is provided. Always consult with a tax professional. Legal services are offered by Eidelman Law Firm. Tax services offered by Market Tax Services. Market Advisory Group does not provide legal or tax advice. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not in any way refer to investment advisory products. Rates and guarantees provided by insurance products and annuities are subject to the financial strength of the issuing insurance company, not guaranteed by any bank or the FDIC. The guest commentators featured in this show are not investment advisor representatives of foundations and do not provide advisory services. Market Advisory Group does have several investment advisor representatives that can provide such services. This is not endorsed or affiliated with any U.S. government agency, the Social Security Administration, or associated with any federal Medicare program. We do not offer every plan available in your area. Any information we provide is limited to those plans we do offer in your area. Please contact Medicare.gov or 1-800-MEDICARE to get information on all of your options. A Roth conversion may not be suitable for your situation. The primary goal in converting retirement assets into a Roth IRA is to reduce the future tax liability on the distributions you take in retirement or on the distributions of your beneficiaries. The information provided is to help you determine whether or not a Roth IRA conversion may be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Please review your retirement savings, tax, and legacy planning strategies with your legal slash tax advisor to be sure a Roth IRA conversion fits into your planning strategies. All rights reserved.